Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel FPJ Made Easy. On this channel you will learn about the FPJ technology and programming from basic to advanced level. For more videos subscribe this channel by click on the subscribe button and follow us on our Facebook page for the notification. This video is very important for the undergraduate, graduate and postgraduate research students. In this video we will talk about what is dependability. Dependability tree diagram is shown here in which there are three main branches which is dependability matrix, dependability means and dependability factors. In this video we will talk about the dependability matrix and the, uh, and the most important matrix are reliability, availability, safety, mean time to failure and fault coverage will be discussed in detail. So let's start. So first what is dependability? As per definition, dependability of a computer system may be defined as justifiable confidence that it performed specified actions or delivered specified results in an accurate and timely manner. In other words, dependability is the ability of a system to deliver service that can justifiably be trusted. In simple words, dependability is the study of failures and errors. The attributes of dependability expresses the properties which are expected, expected from a system. The term dependability refers to the class of metrics such as reliability, uh, availability, fault coverage, fault latency, mean time to failure, testability and safety. The three primary attributes are reliability, availability and safety. So there are different attributes and metrics are required depending on the application of for evaluation of system response. The first one is reliability which is an important dependability matrix. So the reliability of a system concerned with the continuity of service correctly. In other words it, it is defined as it is the probability that the circuit output is correct even in the presence of fault. As shown in, uh, in this figure, the bath strap curve is the uh, famous curve which shows the reliability of a system. There are three phases of this curve. In the first phase which is called the manufacturing phase in which the failure rate is high and with the help uh, with the help of designing development and research engineers uh, low, lower down this failure rate and when and the another phase is start which is called useful life or normal life where the failure rate is almost constant in this phase when the product is in in the user hand and the, uh, after some time the another phase is start which is called end of life wear out effects or aging effect. Due to this the product is starting malfunctioning and user need to replace this product. So this, this uh, normal life and useful life should be as long as possible to make the credibility of the product. Mathematically it is described by this exponential function where uh, lambda represent the average constant failure rate of the component or the system and T represent the time. The second important dependability matrix is availability. As per definition the availability is defined as the probability to find a repairable subject item to a set time T in the condition able to function. Availability of the system can be computed as computed by this formula in which uptime is the time in which system is uh, functioning correctly and the downtime means the in which the function the, uh, the system about the function. So the availability means the system perform the correctly the time in which system perform correctly divided by the total time of the system. In other words it is described mathematically as it is a mean time to failure divided by mean time to failure plus mean time to 
prepare. This, these parameters we will discuss in future slides. Another important parameter is safety. The concept of safety is similar to the reliability, but in this case it only considers failures that may produce safety hazards. In safety, failures are categorized as fail safe or fail unsafe, which means if the system is fail in performing some uh, operation, then the result is, is either a safe fail or an unsafe fail. For example, if we, somebody is driving a car and it, it meets an accident, then we will see that if this, this is actually a failure, a human failure or a car failure or a brake failure, then it is a fail safe or it's fail unsafe. Means if the person is okay, alive or he is injured or fail unsafe. So safety can be expressed as the probability that the system either perform its function correctly or discontinue its operation in a fail safe manner in the interval between 0 and t, given that the system was operating correctly at time 0. Safety is therefore essential in critical application where failure could generate human injury or death or environmental disaster. Another important dependability matrix is mean time to failure. Mean time to failure is a value for the average statistical duration of operation of a device up to the first failure. As per definition, we can say the expected time that a system operates before the first failure occurs, which concern the occurrence of first failure. It can be expressed as mean time to failure is a 1 over constant failure rate where lambda is constant failure rate. In this figure we can see that if the uh, system start at, at time is equal to 0 and it perform in a correct uh, behavior and then it and when the first failure occur so the time from the start of the function to this first failure occur is called mean time to failure. After that we diagnose that f cause of that failure and this period in which we perform diagnosis is called mean time to diagnose. After that when we f find the f reason for the failure then we try to repair it and the time taken to repair the system is called mean time to repair. Similarly after repairing the system start behaving correctly and we will wait for the second failure occur in the operation of a system. So and the whole uh, from the diagnose to the again it perform the correct behavior and first second failure occur this time is called mean time between failure. So this is also very important uh, parameter for the dependability of a system. So another parameter is fault coverage. By the definition, fault coverage is the ratio of number of faults detected over the number of faults injected. Mathematically, it, it, it describes as Fc is equal to Fd over Ft into 100, where Fd is the fault detection count and Ft is total injection. This parameter is very important in testability and fault injection experimentation. The maximum fault coverage is needed for the design and testing. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, you subscribe this channel by click on the subscribe button and follow us on our Facebook page for the notification.